Hey y'all, it's Danielle. It is Thursday, May, no, gosh, it's June 6, 2013, and you are watching Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works Thursday edition with me, Danielle. This week's question is, what standards or daily actions are you developing or have developed now that you will need for long-term maintenance? Well, I'm only 19 weeks post-op, but I did have quite a long pre-op waiting period. Uh, first of all, let me apologize real quick if you see me looking around. I'm going to class and recording this in my car because it is hot outside and I wanted to be in AC and be comfortable when I did this. So sorry if I seem a little distracted. I'm just wondering what people are thinking of me recording videos in my car. Um, so like I said, I'm 19 weeks post-op. I had my long pre-op waiting period. So I have developed some pretty good habits. I'm not perfect. I am still working on some things, trying to find out what works best for me. I will tell you one thing that I always um, do um, 99, well let's say more than like 95% of the time you will catch me with this is water. I always have a water and yes, I do drink from a straw. And that's one thing, whenever I drink from a straw, I'll take liquid in and then I'll exhale through my nose because I don't want to get any extra air in my stomach. I've had gas pains a few times and it's not fun. So that's something I do subconsciously just to, as a preventative method. Um, another thing I do is whenever I go out to eat, I customize my orders. I'm not afraid to say, hold the bun, can I substitute these fries for let's just say something my husband would eat I don't know Brussels sprouts uh, or can I substitute this sauce for another thing um, I'm not afraid to ask for changes and worst thing they can do is tell me no and that it comes that way and I'll just have to change my order or decide if whatever I want to eat is worth it um, another thing I do whenever I, we eat at home which is quite a bit now uh, I measure my food. I still have my food scale. I measure it. I weigh it. I also um, have small plates. I, I mean, they aren't even salad plates. They're like dessert plates or they're children's plates. And even then I find some of the children plates are way too big. I had got salad plates pre-op and those were fine, but now they're too big still. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. So the smaller the plate for me, the better. So that way visually it's pleasing to me to see that, hey, I have a plate full of food. It doesn't matter if it's an infant plate or not. It's still a plate full of food. Um, number, well, not, I just, I jot down some recording notes and I numbered them. Another thing I do is exercise slash physical activity. I try, I'm not perfect at my exercise yet. Um. I'm just not. I am a student and I work for a coffee company. So I am crazy, well not crazy busy, but my hours are really long and extended. I'm lucky if I get five hours of sleep a night between my day. So needless to say, sometimes your girl wants to take a nap instead. So your girl takes a nap instead. Um, it is what it is, but I do work out and I have a job where I'm on my feet all the time. So I'm always moving. Um, or I go for hikes and stuff. I'm, I'm just, I like to move more. I don't want to go home and sleep all the time. If I am out and about, I am able and willing to go out and have fun and do it. So exercise, just get moving. Anything you can get extra exercise and extra physical activity really keeps you going. Um, one uh, one thing I do use for that is my body media. It's on, from Biggest Loser. I love it. I got the one that's Bluetooth. It links to my phone and it motivates me. Hey, you need to get those steps in. I like the instant gratification of seeing those numbers go up. My calories burn go up. My steps go up. I'm an instant gratification person. And as we all know, one of the things with weight loss surgery is it's not instant gratification of the changes in your body. So for me, my one of the things I'm working on to develop is believing in myself more. Um, that can be something as simple as saying, 
Yes, you can. Uh, you can park in the back of the parking lot and be fine. Yes, you can fit those size 16 pants. Yes, you can fit a medium t-shirt. Um, yes, you can go work out and you'll see the benefits. You're just not going to see them right away. So that's one thing I need to work on definitely, and especially to be successful and maintain, is to keep believing in myself that I am going to do this. Um, with that said, I believe those are pretty good for me for now. I hope everybody has a great week. Leave us a video response. Leave us some comments. Uh, what do you do for your success? What do you do to maintain your success? Everybody has little tips and tricks. And I'm definitely willing to listen and learn and always find out new things. So with that, I will leave you guys with... Um, have a happy Thursday, and I am Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works. Bye, guys.